We are Royal Kratos, a multidisciplinary group of 40 plus students from various engineering backgrounds and we are extremely proud to present our rover Kratos Mark III. The project is divided into six subsystems, mechanical, controls, arm, science, power and autonomous. We have an in-house workshop within our university where we perform several mechanical jobs such as CNC, lathe, etc. Moreover, we also have access to a student fabrication lab where we have several 3D printers, a laser cutting machine and a PCB printing machine. The mechanical subsystem is responsible for the design, production and enhancement of the core rover arm and science system. This year we are using the new T-slot aluminum chassis for better modularity which houses the electronics box and provides easy access to the electronics onboard. We have reiterated our double lambda rocker bogey suspension with custom CNC machine parts. A new averaging mechanism has been implemented and has been shifted below the chassis for better access access to electronics box. Continuing with the 6 wheel differential drive mechanism, we are using the 3D printed wheels with a modified honeycomb support pattern improving the shop absorbance. Browser printed on the wheel provide traction on loose sand. The wheels along with the suspension allows the rover to navigate steep slopes up to 40 degrees and even stairs. We use a combination of 2.4 GHz omnidirectional and sector antennas for communication. The rover is teleoperated using a joystick at the base station which has been tested for a non-LOS range of 1 km. We receive multiple video feeds from FPE cameras and can seamlessly switch between them using a multiplexer. The required wheel velocities are computed on the Jetson using a differential drive model. We have implemented a custom systems check algorithm to ensure rover readiness before every mission. In case of communication loss with the base station, the rover uses the stereo camera and GPS data to retrace its trajectory autonomously to reconnect. The rover can autonomously traverse various paths using a pure pursuit controller with the PID controller as a failsafe. The pure pursuit controller has been thoroughly tested using simulations before deploying it on the rover. We employ a mix of lithium ion and live PO4 batteries with integrated BMS and cell balancing for the rover. An external battery management system that uses the coulomb counting method to calculate the efficiency and state of charge of the batteries have also been used. Various PCBs with power lines were manufactured in-house for each assembly including arm, drive and science. The rover is tested for 90 minutes of continuous traversal. Using a kill switch, we can shut down the rover in case of an emergency. Our new 5 degree freedom robotic arm is tested for all equipment servicing tasks with very high accuracy. The carbon fiber links and two new linear actuators provide the capability of performing tasks that have very high load requirements up to 6.5 kg. The base rotation mechanism has been improved to a cycloidal drive from our previous spur gear for higher reduction and higher accuracy. With our mechanical improvements and new algorithm, we can extrapolate our two-dimensional inverse kinematics to 3D space and position our arm accurately. This year, we have focused on building two different grippers, one for dexterity in equipment servicing and the other for strength in extreme retrieval. The differential bevel gears are redesigned and manufactured in-house to help us control roll and pitch motion, enabling the rover to perform tasks like flipping switches, pushing buttons, operating a joystick and opening drawers. Focusing on transition times, our new rover can completely switch from arm-based tasks to autonomous tasks well within 2 minutes. This year, the autonomous subsystem has focused on localization and mapping of our state machine-based model. The new RTK-based module ensures reliable and centimeter-level accurate localization. Visual inertial odometry data from Z2S stereo camera and GNSS data are fused to reduce the errors further. The point cloud data from Z2I is extracted to create an elevation map of the environment which is used by our modified A-star algorithm to provide the path with least traversability cost. A spiral search algorithm is employed for searching the AR tags after reaching the fourth GNSS and subsequent checkpoints. The AR tags are at the last four markers and the gates are detected using a RUCO module of the OpenCV package. After detection, the AR tags are followed using a P-controlled visual surveying algorithm. Finally, the gates are traversed using similar mechanism and reaching the goals is signaled by an LED. The onboard science setup can retrieve up to four different soil samples using a scooping mechanism. The collected sample is directed to custom spectrometer following a no spill and no contamination policy. Bradford and chlorophyll tests are performed to check the presence of protein and chlorophyll respectively. The rover houses a 3D printed enclosure with LEDs and a camera used to capture the rocks. The captured image is further processed by a CNN model that classifies rocks into 10 different categories. The digital microscope takes high resolution images of the soil and rock samples. Determining soil type and texture provides insight into habitability conditions which is supported by estimations done using data collected from atmospheric sensors. Identification of fossils, possible green stripes, carbonate and mineral traces would help in classifying extant and extinct life. As a part of our educational outreach, we train over 150 university students on necessary topics required to create and run a mass rover. From this pool of students, we perform our recruiting thereby allowing people with no past robotics experience to also learn and join the project. We hope to see you at URC 2023.